welcome back to my channel welcome to another review of married to medicine la this is season two episode two um prepare for backlash um this episode starts off with jasmine and imani continuing their conversation from last week um last week we know um Quad tried to be a therapist and try to get them to talk but was doing the entire most. So the episode did start off with them talking about that. Dr. Imani brings up, you know, like kind of how her dad treated her. It's kind of how she treats people. And um, they said, and they said they were going to work on their friendship. Like they were like, we're going to move past this. Baby not even we'll get to it okay but there was a scene and i should have clicked this i could insert it one of those bartenders or masseuses his hairline was way back here i didn't like that didn't like that okay so you know it starts to shift to each um wife um shanique is trying to get her, her son up and she's like oh I'll, I'll buy you something if you get up i'll buy you a treat and he was like i'll buy it <laughs> my ovaries just collapsed who gonna marry me i need i'm i have a baby fever y'all <laughs> um it seems like like in that scene of her trying to get the kids ready her husband just seemed like he was doing shit like all he did was come and brush the son's hair and then was like i'm hungry and he saw her you know like rushing trying to get out the house and he's worried about what he's going to eat. And then even in the confessional, um, he admits that, you know, she has a lot to do. And he wouldn't be able to handle it if the tables were returned. And I don't think that's fair, especially if they both are working. Um, at some point, there has to be a balance. Like, I'm all for, you know, traditional roles. Like, that's how I was raised. And I'm pretty sure that's kind of like how I'm going to raise, like, my family is going to be. But at the same time, like, there has to be some type of give and take. Like, you see I'm struggling. You you, you say that you wouldn't be able to do this by yourself. So why not help me? And then, like, when they're in the car, you know, she's telling her kids that she doesn't want to be a property manager anymore. She wants to become a realtor. And her kids are like, do you think that's a good idea? Like, they're very mature for the age. They just seem like little old people. It was so funny. Then, um... We shift to Dr. Britton, you know, they're in the car as a family. Um, baby, when her son slid down that rail in the house, that's how I feel. We board in the house and in the house board. And they're getting ready to celebrate her 43rd birthday. Her husband is, so she knows her birth, she knows her husband is planning her a birthday party, but she doesn't know to the extent, she doesn't know the details, she's just supposed to show up. Um, Dr. Contessa comes over, you know, they're best friends, they're good Judy's, um, this episode's boring. Um, they did hint at, like, when you get married, the sex dies, but when you're dating, the sex be popping. My thing is, like, you gotta keep it spicy, like, even if you have kids and again, I am single, I don't know. You know, I can't give relationship advice, because what do I know? I know a lot, but people don't listen to me, but, um... I feel like that's the least he could do is throw her a really nice birthday, especially after he's been acting like an asshole, like, and complaining about everything with LA. Shift to Dr. Kendra. Um, she's an OBGYN. She's a new wife and her husband. I did not get his name, but he's internal medicine. And um, he's Chinese, I believe. Um, they just moved into a new house. They have a new baby. That baby is so cute. Um, you could tell that she's still adjusting to this post mommy body and you know her her man is there to support her and then they talk about you know she she mentions being too busy for your spouse like at what point do you sacrifice your relationship because y'all both are busy like when y'all just start um like our two ships passing in the night that was very important because you have to make time for the things that you want so this is where we get into the good stuff because it wasn't a lot. But um, they have um, Dr. Britton's birthday party at the Lux Hotel. Um, 
again, like I said, that's the least her husband can do for being an asshole. Dr. Kendra brings her husband. You know, she, she kind of says that the Dr. Heavenly in her drama, she's going to put it behind her like she's a grown woman. She's going to move on. It ain't that deep. Baby Jasmine shows up with somebody else. Again, not her husband. But what does her husband look like? I mean, I know what he looks like because I Googled it. But we don't know. Like, get her. I don't, I don't know. Baby Toya Quad and Heavenly showed up looking like the Golden Girls. I love my Atlanta girl, like my Atlanta women, my Atlanta doctors, and my doctor's wives. But they showed up looking like some straight up aunties. They look like the aunties showing up to the party. Heavenly and them shoes running over to the left. Baby, Heavenly shoes was, we know Heavenly can't walk in heels. Heavenly should just hang it up. But she had me cracking up in them damn shoes. And that hair is, again, I said, it's giving me 90s vibes. I don't like it. I like Dr. Kendra's husband. He was like, he knows what Dr. Heavenly said. And he was, baby, like, I ain't worried about it, baby. He is solidified in his manhood in what? Baby, he liked Dr. Heavenly. If you notice, he kept touching on Dr. Heavenly. And then um, Jasmine and Imani, um, yeah, Jasmine and Imani, hug um when imani comes in and like it seems like every time jasmine hugs her she's like oh is this fake is this fake no you being fake like we'll get to that we, we, we get into that and then they start berating imani about her husband and i didn't like this this is jasmine and shanique like why are you so worried about dr imani and her husband when we've never seen your husband on the show like, at least we've seen Phil. We know what Phil look like. We know what Phil do. Like, we got that details on Phil. You worried about the wrong thing. Where is Doc, uh, Jasmine's doctor whoever? Where is he? So, Contessa and... Um, so, all this is a happy. And Contessa and Dr. Britton hadn't gotten to her, Dr. Britton's party yet. But, baby, they finally showed up. Contessa told me some. I just used the GPS in my head. So, they done got lost. Baby, Contessa looked bomb in that dress. Dr. Contessa, you are fine, sis. So, I don't like chicks like Jasmine and Shanique. Because I honestly think Dr. Imani was sincere in her apology. And her really wanting to move on. I don't think she meant like she's doing it to be conniving but jasmine is doing it to be conniving and i officially don't fuck with her i do not like her like i don't like her and then shanika's is just a follower so jasmine jasmine then pulls like this is not even 30 minutes after her and imani talked and she's trying to ask Imani where her husband is. Imani, like, you know, he's doing business ventures. It's none of y'all business. But not even 30 minutes later, does she try to pull the other ladies in, like all of them, and um, try to make it seem like it's a bad thing. Like, oh, where's her husband? Oh, something must be wrong. You know, just staring up shit. But you just said you wanted to work on your relationship. So you're the type of chick that I don't fuck with. And Dr. Britton said something so important in... And, like, this made me like Dr. Bridgeson even more. She said, it is not... I. She said, I, in her confessional, she said, I know what Dr. Imani's husband is doing. I know what is going on in their relationship. But it is not my responsibility, nor is it my business, to tell y'all. And it's not. When Dr. Imani is ready to tell y'all, she will tell y'all. Get y'all some business. Like I said, I'm not going to be worried about Jasmine and her lackluster ass storyline. Like I was trying to give her a chance, but I feel like her and Shanique's storyline is gonna be Dr. Imani. And I'm like, not here for it. Get something else to do. Um, Heavenly does ask Imani, like, where's your ring? And she was like, me and Phil, we don't wear rings. Like, that's just kind of how they rock. One thing I do, I would give Jasmine props for is that she did show really good hospitality through her villa and um making sure that the Alana wives had a nice setup. I do give her do give her that. 
But then it's like, do I think it was genuine or is she just using it for clout? Like comment down below. Do you think that Jasmine, Jasmine's hospitality was sincere? Like, you know, this is her business. She wants it to flourish. She really wanted to show the Atlanta women good time. Or is she just using this for clout? And I mean, like, I get it. All this shit is for clout, like, trying to be recognized. But at the same time, like, I don't know. Maybe because I, I don't like her. I mean, in choir, here she go. It was nice, but you can include uh, some toothbrushes, some flat irons, and some waste baskets. Why shut the hell up? Like ain't nobody ask. Like ain't nobody ask you. Ain't nobody ask you. They're all sitting down for their brunch. Like the Atlanta ladies are getting ready to leave, and this is where they're all eating. And you know they they start to kind of ask Imani questions about how she emotes, and she's you know like I put on a hard exterior. Like, I usually don't tell anybody when something is wrong with me, which we can tell. Um, but Jasmine is sitting there mad because they're like, oh, last season. She's like, oh, last season when it was me and my husband was missing, it was, everybody was all in my business. Da, da. No, we was worried because we had never seen your husband. We've seen Phil. We know what Phil looks like. We know what Phil does for a living, like. It is not a mystery. Or maybe it's not a mystery for us because it ain't our business. So she's upset because the lady's not berating Imani like they did her. Imani doesn't also show up to events with 50, 11 people. She shows up by herself. You show up with a different person every time. Like Imani said, I didn't see your mama, your dog, your sister. Like, we didn't see everybody but your man. Okay. Baby Dr. Heavenly says she's not coming back to LA until she has a six pack. <laughs> and they was like, well, you must not be coming back. I died because, baby, like, and I'm so over Iman, uh, Jasmine not wanting to eat, like, I just, I don't like her, I don't like her. Um, it switches to Britain and Imani going out for drinks. Um, Imani is happy, her and her husband are both in the same Essence magazine at the same, on for the same month. And, but they're in there for two different things. Like Dr. Imani is in there for her awareness on mental health. And her husband is in there because he is in Oklahoma, again, pursuing a business, which she said, um, he is doing a dispensary. I don't know how to pronounce them. But yeah, he's, he's you know, doing the medical, the, the medical gray marijuana and all that. So he's in the essence as well. And she said, this was always a dream, but we're in there doing our own separate things. But I did wonder, like, why he, California is an open, like, I, I, I just want them to make it. Like, I don't feel like they're together, but I really want them to make it. So I'm like, <laughs> can you move back to Cali? Can you open it and then go back home? Like, hopefully he home. Like, I want them to be together. So then it shifts to um, Shanique and Jasmine taking shots. And again, they're only wary, worried about Dr. Imani. Like, where the fuck are y'all storylines? Like, Jasmine is sitting there like, we gonna make, pick up a scheme. We got a scheme because we need to know what's going on. What? Ma'am, like, y'all not gonna worry me. Because this wasn't nothing. Like, and I'm not gonna sit through a whole season of your storylines being Dr. Imani's. I'm not like so the Atlanta women are home so we'll see next week like if some drama occurs or like what happens because again the only two people that got storylines is Dr. Britton I want to know why her and her husband not sleeping in the same bed and Dr. Imani I want to know I want Phil to come back home and I want them to be happy like if they're not like I need them to be together like I need to I just want to know they're together um 
and I'm interested to see Kendra. Like, I'm I'm interested to see more about her. I mean, um, her husband and her, their dynamic seems pretty cool. So I would like to see more of them. But, <sighs> baby, they could have kept Aja from last season. I would have been more into her and her husband trying to have a baby than watch Shanique and Jasmine in a fake ass shit. That was it. They was married to medicine. Make sure you check out my insecure review. Um, share my videos, guys. And comment comment down below any other shows um that y'all want me to watch. Cause <laughs> thanks for watching.